Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about our push button dual deployant clasps. On many of our watches throughout our entire gallery of timepieces, we use push button dual deployant clasps uh, on our leather straps. And we use them on our 18 millimeter 20s, 22s, and 24s. We have them in all sizes and all colors, okay? It's very common. And when we ship a watch that has a push button dual deployant clasp, you are going to get buckle instructions in there with your watch. These are the buckle instructions. And you can even, you know, it has pictures and everything to help you to learn how to use it. But we're going to pretend that you didn't get this, okay? And we're actually going to talk about how to use the push button dual deployant clasp. This particular model watch here, this is our model 102 AA, our Uptown Chic, which is one of our more popular dress models. But this is the dual deployant clasp. And a lot of times customers are not familiar with how to use these or because they've never seen them before. Usually in the watch industry until the last few years, you wouldn't find a push button dual deployant clasp on a timepiece that sold for under a thousand dollars. But uh, you know, things have changed and now they're, you know, we're kind of uh, putting them on everything we can. And they're really nice to have because they do extend the life expectancy of the leather. You don't have the constant bending and folding of the leather. But it is a little tricky for the first time. So this is the clasp. What you have to do in order to use it, the first thing you need to do is you need to get it in the open position. To do that, let's take a look here. I'm going to try and keep my fingers out of the way. There are push buttons. The push button is right here. Can you see that? And there's one on the bottom too, right down here. Okay. What you have to do is you want to squeeze them together. You want to hold the top and bottom and then hold on here and you want to squeeze them and it pops open the clasp. That is in the open position. Okay. However, this is not the part that fools most people. Most people can get that figured out, how to get it open. The tricky part, and we get calls every day saying I, my, there's something wrong with my clasp because when they go to put the strap through the buckle or through the opening, it won't go through. It's, stu it, it's stuck because there's a little pin in there that is blocking the strap. You see the pin in there? Let me try and get my fingers out of the way. But there it is. That's going to block you. And the, the trick is that this little gate right here has to open up. To do that, you almost need to use two hands. So I'm going to try and do this for the camera without blocking it. You can use two hands and you want to pull it apart like that and it opens the gate. You see that? And then once it's open, then you want to take your strap and you want to put it through. And you may have to you know, try two or three different holes to find out what is the best size for you. But once you go ahead and put it in a particular size that you think is right for you, you on the inside of the strap, again, I'm trying to keep this on camera, you will just snap it shut and that's it. Once you get your size figured out, you don't have to do this every time. And then, let's put that, thank you, you're going to want to then just a little bit tighter, you're going to just slip it over your wrist and you want to close this side first. Keep the keeper out of your way. This is a brand new watch, so the strap is a little stiff. So close that side first, and then come across and close this side. I probably, could, there's a little room here, see that? I could have gone another hole or two for me. And then, you know, just you put the little keeper, we call that the keeper, or the loop. Put that over your strap. And then there you have it, there's your watch. There it is. So that's how the push button, do, and then when you want to take your watch off, let's take a look at this. All you have to do is you come in here, and again, remember the push buttons? You're just going to squeeze them together, and it just pops open the strap. Of course, the keeper has got this one held. There we go. It just pops open, and you slip it over your wrist. So again, in the closed position, you're going to close this side first, and then you're going to come across with this side. There it is when it's on your wrist. You see the pusher right there? I mean the, the yeah, the push button and over the other side. When you want to open it, you just squeeze them together and it pops right open. So that's how you use our push button dual deployment clasp. I hope this helps.